Welcome everyone on YouTube. We are about to kick off the Dynasties of India campaigns. I just brought, brought up how they're running out of tags on the right side on the book here. So if they want to add more campaigns and DLCs, they're going to need a second book. Anyway, we have three campaigns coming with the Dynasties of India. We have Babur with the two swords difficulty. We have Rajendra with the three swords. And we have Devapala. I'm going to go in order of the swords, meaning we're going to start with Devapala. It says... Guided by the teachings of Mahayana Buddhism, Devapala rules a rich and vibrant empire. However, as dangerous rivals threaten his realm, the ambitious emperor finds it increasingly difficult to balance his policies with his morals. Will the ends ultimately justify the means? Or will Devapala's quest for his own enlightenment and that of his subjects fail? Question mark. In this campaign, you play as Bengalis. A little bird told me that in this game, or in this um, campaign, uh, Bengalis campaign, you play as yellow. I'm quite happy about that as well. So uh, I would say we just start and get right into it. Also, it looks like a snack. I like it. It is a snack. I didn't know that, but that's cool. Let's go. Difficulty, hard. Still wish there was one more level or two on the difficulty levels. But I expect this one to be fairly easy. It also only had one sword. For those who don't know, the swords uh, next to the text on the campaigns indicates difficulty. So uh, Devapala should be, for a seasoned veteran such as myself, should be pretty good. This satisfaction, it's my parents, uh, is what uh, the first uh, mission is called. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. Oh Lord Buddha, keep my mind sharp and my memory clear as I recount this tale. I tell of warriors and weapons, faith and fury, and a man whose like we shall not see again. Devapala, son of Dharmapala, the greatest ruler of the Pala dynasty. From his ancestors he inherited the fertile earth and thick jungles of Bengal, a realm where tigers prowl, reptiles swim, and the sacred waters of the Ganges empty into the sea. This is the land of the Mahayana, the great vehicle of Buddhist teachings, a creed that guides us towards Nirvana, an enlightened escape from the endless cycle of birth and rebirth. Some call the life of a monk difficult, but they know nothing of that of an emperor. We monks must only care for the spiritual welfare of our people. An emperor, however, taints himself daily with their material concerns, miring himself in dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction is an inherent aspect of our material existence. That is the first noble truth. Devapala's aspiration in life was selfless, to become a bodhisattva, an enlightened being who forestalls nirvana in order to hold the door open for others rather than locking it behind him. To do this, he sought to build an empire and rule benevolently, improving the lot of his subjects. A noble aim, but one not easily accomplished in such violent times. Devapala knew that he needed to secure Bengal's borders before he could rebuild its interior. Summoning his armies, he sent his cousin and commander Jayapala to demand the submission of the neighboring realms of Kamarupa and Utgala. Right. Sounds good. I just thought about something funny. I would love if they let me do the voice lines for a, a campaign. Like imagine they let me do the, the lines for a campaign sometime. How epic would that be? It would be sick. Imagine me reading those lines with an Indian accent or something. It would be amazing. Uh, okay, so main objective. Capture Kamarupa's town center by bringing a soldier to it. Secondary objectives. Uh, capture Kamarupa without losing a single unit to obtain the castle age research for free. We'll obviously do this without any problems, especially if there are heroes involved. Uh, Devapala is restricted to castle age and a population limit of 125. Bengali town centers automatically spawn additional villagers as you advance through the ages. The Pratiharas and Rashtrakutas are only a nuisance. 
but the equipment stored in their camps could be of use to you. The dense Bengali climate can make land-based invasions a challenge. Consider also attacking Utkala by sea. Beware of fearsome Bengali tigers. Um, is Bengali the sieve with that unique ship? I do not remember. Uh, Devapala and his army have thrust into enemy territory with the aim of quickly seizing a base from which they can launch further operations. Kamarupa is an obvious first target. Uh, its rich lands in the northeast are defended by a pitifully weak military, primarily of infantry. Utkala is a more formidable opponent. Its realm is to the southwest. Its its realm to the southwest is ruled by a defiant queen. Will send elephants and skirmishers into battle. Utkala may also deploy a navy to attack the Pala forces by sea. The Pratiharas and Rashtrukutas are old rivals of the palace. Thus far, they have only established small camps in the west and northwest of the map, but raiding parties of mounted units and infantry, respectively, may soon venture into Pala territory. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly do one thing here. Let's up this a little bit. It's easier for us to follow. Cousin Deva Pala, our forces march on Kamarupa as you ordered. I shall send tidings of our victory shortly. Hey, we get to play as yellow. And we have Ratha. The unit that can switch between attack, bow, and uh, range attacks, and melee attack. Right. Capture Kamarupa without losing a single unit. I thought the elephant was attacking me. Pala elephants. I guess we are. Oh, oh, oh. I guess we are referred to as the Pala. Oh, don't die. We're not supposed to lose a unit. Remember. Why is this zoom so dr drastic? Why is there no middle ground between these two zooms? I don't get it. It's a bit too close for my liking, but it'll do. This is fine. They really want my Ratha tell you that much we're not supposed to lose a unit so far so good so far so good my health bars are wrong what is going on with the game why is it not showing on those I'm confused it's like my health bar is wrong but okay whatever I'll just roll with it what are those swordsmen, guys? I thought it was um, the Urumi swordsman, no? Oh boy. Oh wait, skirmish is a bonus damage against these guys. Gotta be careful. Default health bar is the right one. Yeah, but that's the one I have. Which is hence the confusion. Yeah, we haven't lost a single unit so far. Everything is going according to plan. Oh, the Ultra HD graphics effect to zoom. That makes sense. That we were aware of that. You have made your sure boss. My lands and people are yours. If you would but spare them. Our troops are electrified by this costless victory. We will carry this momentum forward to Utkala. Hmm. Wait, what? I'm supposed to get two vills when I get to Castle Age. I got scammed. So now we have only the main objective, defeat Utkala. Sounds good. I cannot build a monastery? Hotkeys? So, Utkala seek to trespass on our land. So, so well for your forefathers. Uh, I have no idea what's going on, but something is messing up with my hotkey stuff. I 
Rubbish. Like for some reason, this menu is not changing. Uh, apologies. I'm so confused, but okay. Let's carry on. Have you heard about the power of editing Profuse? Okay, we don't have to be scared of... Uh, crocodiles. You only have to be, be worried about Bengali tigers. Build an RTC there. Oh, relics. Okay, we do have some more hotkeys messed up. For some reason, my guide point is T there. So it seems like my hotkeys are kind of mixed with grid mod right now. Some of your older family friends do not agree with your ambitions. Oh no. Just give the word. And I will bolster the defenses on our flank. Yeah, we got secondary objectives now to defeat the others. Rashtakutas and Pratiharas. Alright. Get those up. Because why not? We were we had a 125 population cap, if I remember correctly, and we're stuck in Castleage, so we do have to kill them with uh, Castleage siege and whatnot, which isn't always the easiest, but yeah, play with no hotkeys like most of the audience. That would be one way to do it. Actually, there's a lot of relics spread around here. Well, I say a lot. I see two. The gate looked like a relic on the minimap. Oh. I think I want to convert that. Join the course. Thank you. Get some relics. Need to go for gold. Longsword man, is that a scout? Yeah, it's just a scout. Oh. Okay, they have castles and elephant archers so far. And there was there were people down south that they said their tools could be useful to me. I'm gonna go and check out what's there. The Rashtrakutas. I have a feeling I'm about to be raided. Fishing ships. Oh, they were to the west. Never mind. My bad. Your forefathers played us great insults once, Palace. It's all good, man. Okay, let's add another T sir. We still gotta get like a 40, 50. Um, 50, 60 villagers so we can have like 50 50 split on military, I believe. How long does it take to convert this? Oh my god. And we do have elephant rams. I guess that's why they. Make you st stuck in castle as well. Make sure you try out the new elephant ram or armored ram. What are they called? Armored elephant. Close enough. Okay, this is fine. I guess the third TC is actually overkill. No need for that. Get some castles up, maybe go for Rata. Maybe go here, hunt some elephants. So they are Gujaras, those camels have insane damage. Maybe Rata is not the way. 
Let's go this way. Attack from there. Still just furthering our economy for the time being. I think we'll go and we'll start attacking uh, Prati, Pratiharas. Will you stream old campaign missions tonight? No. That would probably take too long. But I will see. Maybe we can finish the Bengali campaign today. I don't know if there's any super long missions here. I don't want to commit on something I might not be able to deliver, you know. Okay, that's fine. I'll be able to do a castle drop soon. Yes, sir. Those armored elephants are slow AF. I mean, I have monks as well there. It's a combination of both. Looks like the fishing ship is actually not working. Not sure what's up there. Do I need more army than this? Let's try and get an idea of what he has. Yeah, I think going only pikemen would actually be fine here. Why did they talk about the Bengali? Uh, the the. We talked about the tigers. I have to be aware of the tigers, but I haven't seen any tigers yet that I should be worried about. So yeah, if we mix in some uh, some spearmen here or pikemen rather, probably good as a composition. Do one more barracks. We are ready to do a castle drop as well. Uh, there might be some misclicks here and there because my hotkey setup isn't as it's supposed to be for some reason. Yeah, let's let's go. Uh, armored rams, go there. Did I not have two monks? Yes, we did. You guys can remain as. Uh, wait, they do extra damage against the elephant, armored elephants as well, probably. It's not great, but yeah, still have more than enough. Yeah, but I want to cast them, maybe in the middle of the map. I can utilize that as the game goes on. I've lost my armored elephant, unfortunately. I don't think you can heal them, right? Oh, you can! And it costs no resource? So you, with this stuff, you can heal your ramps. That's pretty insane. 63 villagers, I think we have enough. We can stop. Need to do eco upgrades though. Yes, what do I get? I was supposed to get some bonus for taking them out. If I understood that correctly. Keep queuing up bills just out of habit. Even though I'm actually done making bills. Alright. What's next? Armored elephants are hardy beasts. We should field some and batter down the enemy defenses. Working on it. Uh, oh yeah, we can do the pikes upgrade so they attack faster. I mean, is this not gonna eliminate? I think if I take out the stable, they'll be eliminated. Not 100% sure, but I believe that should be the case. Then I should get some rewards. 
Play barding armor. Scale barding. Is that the Imperial Age upgrade? Plus two, plus two. I feel like that's the Imperial Age upgrade. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think Ram Elephants are really good. Uh, competitively as well. So we just got the Imperial Age upgrade in. Sick. We'll stop losing Rata. Maybe that. Um, let's build another castle somewhere like here. Somewhat close, but can still help pushing on both sides. So far, the enemy is not really pushing us anywhere. Oh yeah, we're getting really good upgrades now. If they are also stuck in castles, which it looks like they are, then I don't seem to see this being much of a challenge going forward. <gasps> Elephant archer. Oh! Just passing. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's I need to do all, I, I'm lacking a lot of upgrades here. Not only that. Okay, now he sees the castle. I need like ballistics as well. Heal the wrath of my elephants. Where? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> they like feel the wrath of my elephants and they send one elephant at me. Not that scary. Uh, let's just force. I think the purple also should be very weak. So we can just go on purple. While we prepare our attack for. Uh... Those are not elephants. That's an elephant. I'll admit as much that is an elephant. Yeah, this should be like an easy cleanup. She did say elephants in plural though. Which is what confuses me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind that. I think with the castle though, we should still be fine here. At least, actually, I can send the pikemen home. Oh god, okay, actually sending a lot. Not, not too bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, why is purple not defeated yet? Oh. Did they oh, Blast Furnace researched. Nice. Yeah, I have been missing upgrades severely here. But it's all good. We're approaching population cap. Um, I would, would see, it would seem cousin. What did she say? It would seem cousin that you, Kala, now does stand alone. How embarrassing. Free for all exciting. Kind of. Yeah, they're... I think the pikeman plays just too straightforward here. Pikeman Ratha. Don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> but you want to or not. Okay, they are... To be fair, they're making a decent amount of units. I'll give them that. Still not gonna be enough. Okay, I need some more rams. Elephant rams. Seems like Rush, Rakutus, and Prati Paras were, went to public school. Because comprehensive. Some uh, actual joke from the Indian culture that I don't get, or what? 
Am I supposed to understand the inside? If there was an inside joke there, or a joke. If so, I apologize. They're sending the armored elephants to fight my military. Not really sure if that's a thing. Yeah, this is AI. This is the campaign. We're playing campaign right now. You can actually just walk through. The ramps did take out the town center. The eco is in shambles. There, everything is in shambles right now. It does make sense that it wasn't going to be too difficult because the um, again the sword was one only one sword. So wait, this is ram ram and ram. You probably have bonus damage then. Uh, public schools are underfunded and poorly maintained in India, and students come out of not so well trained. I guess that's a joke. Maybe. Maybe when we'll try this again with no hotkeys and 10 APM, then I'll be impressed. Just because that's your preferred way of playing doesn't mean I have to go along with that. Oh! I hope that our forces and I have made you proud. Yes, Jai Apala. We didn't have to scout the rest of the map. Welcome, Rupa submitted almost instantly. Utkala fought hard. As the bodies of the slain piled up, Devapala began for a moment to doubt the virtue of his cause. Yet as the months passed and the wounds of the realm healed, these doubts slowly vanished. His heart bloomed as he observed the prosperity of his land and the contentment of his people. We are what we think, and what we think we become. Our thoughts shape the world, said the Buddha. Devapala's shaping of the world had only just begun. Big words. All right, let's check the map. I want to see if there was... Oh, it was just water. Ah, we could have docked and gotten a lot of food on water. So what was all this tiger talk about earlier? Hints, beware of fearsome Bengali tigers. I didn't see a single tiger in the whole whole map. I don't know. Alright, statistics, economy, obviously. Not, not too much to see here. Oh, almost a magical number. Good stuff. That was the first. I killed several tigers. Oh, okay. They just have a little bit more HP. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. All right. First mission was a satisfaction. I'll see you for the next one.